Today we're gonna take this $7 processor, yeah, $7 right now, and see how I can play Fortnite with the GT 1030 all the way to a GTX 1080 Ti. The results are pretty crazy. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Xeon X3430, which you can pick up right now on AliExpress for $7 and see how it can play Fortnite with a couple of graphics cards. If you want to see more benchmarking videos or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's quickly introduce the CPU and then we'll roll into the benchmarks. The Xeon X3430 is a server grade processor that launched nine years ago in 2009 and it's widely available today because it's bought in bulk and sold in bulk by huge companies when they upgrade their servers. It's built on 45 nanometers, has a base clock of 2.4 gigahertz and a turbo clock of 2.8 gigahertz, a TDP of 95 watts, and it's built with the LGA 1156 socket. The really cool thing about this CPU is that you can combine it with super cheap motherboards like this Asus H55 motherboard that I picked up on AliExpress for like 50 bucks. And the really cool thing about H55 is it still uses DDR3, which is much cheaper than the very expensive DDR4 right now. So a $7 processor and a $50 motherboard, that's at a great price, but first let's see what it can do. For our testing platform, I do have the X3430 overclocked to 3.7 gigahertz by upping the base clock. If you bought a more expensive P55 motherboard, you would have more overclocking options, maybe even up to 4.0 gigahertz. So there definitely are some downfalls with buying the cheaper H55 motherboards. I also have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 18 66 RAM in there. All of the games are installed on an Air i SSD and we have four graphics cards that we'll be testing with today. We'll start with the super budget GT 1030 and then work our way up to a very common used GPU, the GTX 960. And then we'll get to my absolute favorite used GPU right now, the GTX 780 Ti. And then finally, we'll get to my monster GTX 1080 Ti. So first up was the GT 1030, and I found the sweet spot to be in 1080p with medium settings, but here I cranked the resolution scale up to 100%. Here I averaged 63 FPS, and we're off to a great start. Next up was the GTX 960. Here I also stayed at 1080p, but I cranked the settings up to epic. Here I averaged 55 FPS, which is pretty close to that 60 FPS mark, but you can obviously turn these settings down to high and get much much better frame rates, it's all about personal preference. The GTX 780 Ti followed, and here I kept the same exact settings as the 960, 1080p, and Epic, and here I averaged a very impressive 95 FPS. This card could definitely push into 1440p if you wanted to. And finally, speaking of 1440p, my monster GTX 1080 Ti was last, and here I upped the resolution to 1440p, kept the settings at Epic, and still managed 111 frames per second. Now obviously, no one is going to spend $7 on a processor and like 800 to 1000 on a GTX 1080 Ti, but this test really did surprise me. Obviously the X3430 is the bottleneck here, but it's really not a crazy bottleneck. Getting 111 frames per second on 1440p in epic settings is just mind blowing for a $7 processor. Overall, the Xeon X3430 can deliver some baller bang for your buck performance, and I highly recommend giving it a try for your next budget build. For less than 60 bucks, you can pair it with an H55 motherboard and spend the rest of your money on those super overpriced RAM sticks and GPUs. Well, that wraps up my Fortnite benchmarks with a $7 processor. I already featured this processor in my used 300 dollar build up here, but I'm honestly going to feature this a couple more times on the channel because the results are just crazy with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. Also down there is a link to zaxtechturf.com so you can really support the channel and buy baller t-shirts like this. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.